It's a women's bantamweight title fight between Amanda Nunes and Juliana Penn. the number one women's bantamweight contender. She believes for a while she's been the best at 135 pounds. She's making the walk tonight, staring down the champion. Confidence, not an issue. Fear, not a factor. We'll see if this talented number one contender can shed that label and leave with a new one as the UFC women's bantamweight champion. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunted for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. Tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Pena is 30, Nunez is 32. The reach is identical. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 11 wins, four losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger, Juliana, the Venezuelan Vixen Pena. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's back and weight champion of the world, Amanda the Lion. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go, as anticipated as any fight on this card tonight. A well-rounded fighter versus the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Black Belt. Out. This fight can go two ways. This can look ugly for the jiu-jitsu fighter. She can be forced to stand. She's in a lot of trouble. She needs to take this fight to the ground as soon as she can in order to win the fight. That was a kick. Nice strike. There's no give on that leg kick. Pena going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Big kick lands. Back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Nice leg kick land. 
DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Beautiful day down lane. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Big punch land. Ooh. Trying to kick the leg out. Under three minutes now to go in the round. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Right hand punch to clinch. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Oh, Pena's got the tie clinch now. Oh, she's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use to follow it up? What a big time takedown. She moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, that's a good right hand. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands among the best of the pound in the entire UFC. Oh, nice jab. Kenya gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Try to establish that jab. Well, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have the Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what you saw in round number one. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, masterful job by her defensively yet again. You're not winning all the time when you're playing defense, but a nice job to raise the hands up. She keeps her hands up, keeps her chin down. Her opponent is not getting through with any of her head strikes. Big kick land. That right hand landed. Well, she keeps going back to that right hand. This one's not there for her. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, she's had a lot of moments in the fight. You know, her one is very good, but you're not even getting a one-two. What about the one-two? What about the one -two? Fantastic takedown. Well, her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Huh. Effective punch there by Nunes. Some nice back and forth action here. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Level change. Finish the takedown. Great job. Nunez gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Enya's looking for that arm triangle now. My triangle, my triangle. There it is. Thank <laughs> you. 
opportunistic grappling right there, and nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position, but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, so there's the end of the round, and in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC women's bantamweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC goal. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Julia, the Venezuelan Vixen Pena. So the Venezuelan Vixen has done it again as she celebrates this UFC win with her corner. It appears as though she is finally regaining her form after that severe knee injury a few years back. When she is on, as she was here tonight, Juliana Pena is certainly a tough out for any other contender.